DFG Science TV, function through diversity, pioneering work in China, the largest ever forest experiment on biodiversity. The whole research group working on this project is studying the role played by biodiversity for the many functions that an ecosystem has. Most importantly, they want to find out how the biodiversity affects the primary production of subtropical forests. It's a bit like a good meal. The biodiversity describes the number of different dishes that are available and how much there is of each one. In an ecosystem, this is the number of organisms, of trees, shrubs, herbs and all kinds of animals. And the primary production is the total amount of biomass that the primary producers, in other words, all of the green plants, accumulate in a given time. But how can the relationship between the primary production and biodiversity be tested? To answer this question, the researchers are comparing the growth rates of forests with different levels of biodiversity. They measure the growth rate by taking measurements on the trees. To do this, they need to know the diameter of all of the tree trunks at breast height, referred to as the DBH. This tells the researchers how large the trees are and thus allows them to calculate the total forest biomass. For the height, we have uh, an ipsometer, which is the instrument who we use. And uh, the method is we attach this part, which is called the transponder, to the tree on 1.3 meters. And we have to... Uh, go and measure it with the ipsometer itself from a, and we try to estimate the distance of the height of the tree on the side to measure to point with the ipsometer at the transponder and then we get a signal which tells us the, uh, the distance to the tree and the angle to the tree then we point at the top of the tree and uh, it calculates the height the light conditions in the forest are also measured to provide information on the canopy cover in the forest. In each comparative study plot, uh, we measure the light to see how the canopy, the structure of the canopy, and how much uh, light is uh, absorbed by the canopy and uh, the biomass of the leaves. This is a camera. Uh, which has a special lens which makes uh, circular pictures with an angle of 180 degrees. Like this we can later on in the lab analyze the pictures and have uh, estimations about the structure of the canopy and also about the amount of leaves and the most important one the distribution of the leaves also. Uh, I can show you now. I will make a picture. Therefore I have to take care that the camera is very hori horizontally and at the same time I will make a picture on the height of 2.5 meter. The researchers are studying the relationship between productivity and diversity in natural forests. In doing so they need to bear one thing in mind and that is that there are a lot of other confounding factors that influence this relationship. For example the amount of light. The problem with this is that these other factors are beyond their control. Thus, they're conducting a pilot experiment to investigate the effect of these additional factors by growing seedlings in full sunlight or in partial shade. This is only a small-scale pilot experiment with young saplings, though. And apart from the light, there are also other confounding factors that affect the relationship between productivity and diversity. This is why the large-scale experiment they're planning with newly planted forests is so important to the researchers, because only there will they be able to keep all confounding factors constant. Visit DFG Science TV for more information. Awaken the researcher within you.